see Notre Dame a lot of times um, at this regional, and uh, they're always a tough opponent, and they're always a classy opponent. And uh, really, they have some great players, and you start with those Western kids, and I thought they played great softball today. Um, and they came here to they came here to beat us, there was no doubt. Uh, that makes them a great opponent. But I uh, thought, I told my kids in the locker room, you know, we didn't always do everything right today, but we were just tough. When we needed to be tough, we were tough. And that's the only way you get to keep playing, is you have to be the toughest team on the field. And as a team, we are the toughest team. And you have to be tough around the edges, you have to be tough physically, but you mostly, you have to be tough mentally. And, uh, you know, I told them, you need to celebrate winning a regional. And they really celebrated that they get to have practice on Tuesday. <laughs> but you need to celebrate that because it is a big achievement. And at Michigan, you know, there's not a kid in that locker room who didn't think that we, you know, they feel the pressure of it. And um, I just told them to celebrate it and we'll get back to business Tuesday. And to get away from softball and to get away from, just go, go see your parents and just go relax for a couple of days. We need a break. So, but I'm very proud of them. That's a, it's a good day. You talked about the toughness, and it's like one through nine. I mean, a lot of teams have a bottom of the order, but you guys don't really have a bottom of the order. And and talk about that element where it's just it's you, you can be relentless because there's no let up in your lineup. Well, exactly, and uh, the game doesn't know what uh, where you're batting in the order. And uh, Monty's been very valuable for us, and uh, we keep her hidden down there. But everybody just needs to do their part, and everybody's not always going to succeed. So whether Romo's getting it done or Christmas getting it done, or Abby getting it done. I, we just need people to, to try to help us win, and you know, our kids do a good job. And also talk about what Aiden gave you today. You know, she got the big hit before Lindsay, another two-run hit, threw out this, their great base stealer, took the throw from Kelsey and made a tag and worked well with Megan again. Talk about... Aiden had an outstanding day for us. I mean, now, you know, she had a couple of not-so-great at-bats, and you know what? It doesn't matter what you did at your last at-bat. It only matters what you're doing right now. And um, Aiden's been doing and working really hard to help do her part. Did she, she keep? Did. did she keep her head on at that time? Pardon me. Did she keep her head on at that? I know that's a personal thing, the two of you. Yeah, she clearly had her head on because she made some great plays. <laughs> no, I mean head on it, head on the ball. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, she must have. <laughs> Any surprise that the early home runs got out through that wind? Yeah, uh, I thought we we hit them well. I mean, they were line drive hits. They hit them well. They, they uh, got good bat on uh, some good hittable pitches, and the ones we didn't, uh, they were up at our nose a little bit and around front a little bit. So, yeah, we looking for pitches to drive. Lindsay, talk about talk about your bat when you drove in the two runs. Um, yeah, I think um, Hutch says it a lot that the game doesn't know, so the game doesn't know how many runners are on base, and you have to approach every at bat the exact same way. And that's really helped me this season. It doesn't matter of the outcome. I can't control the outcome. Nothing's going to change no matter what I do in that at bat. So I just need to trust my swing and be aggressive. And I was just looking to drive something hard. Megan, how much did that uh, tough one at, when you needed to be apply to you as well when they were getting you in situations? Um, I think that my mental toughness today was what really helped me win. Um, it's been something that I've had to work really hard at. And I think that it's something that I, I've, I've gotten pretty good at, um, but I think today it was they were throwing punches and I had to throw punches back, and I think that we just played really good collectively as a team, and we came out with a win. It was a really good, really good game. Was that the bottom of the fourth? I think when you got you, I think Hutch came out and talked to you, and then you got the, the back back strikeouts. Was that sort of the, the toughness moment for you? Yeah, she just came out there and told me that my body speed looked slow, that I wasn't whipping my pitches, and. Um, that tends to be when I get in trouble, when I try to place the ball and my body speed slows down. So she just told me to whip it, spin the ball through the zone, and I got the result that she wanted and I wanted. Megan, talk about the trust that you have in all of your teammates and, and that you know you can do what you do and, and they'll do what they do and you're going to get what you need. Yeah, I think that trust is something that um, we work really hard at and I think it's something that make, separates our team from a lot of other teams in the country is how much we really do trust each other. and. You know, if I throw the ball down the middle of the play, I trust that my teammates are going to make the play, and they did that really well today. For any of you, uh, I guess when you see other some other programs and they win a game like this, and there might be rushing of the field or big celebration, and like I just said, trying to remind you to celebrate, is it something where 
it almost feels like this is an expectation to just go and do these things year in and year out? I mean, I think others may expect it of us, and obviously we have that confidence in ourselves that we can make it to the next level, but it's not necessarily that we don't appreciate the wins, we don't appreciate winning a regional, but more just like, yeah, like we got this, we can win this game, like it shouldn't be any surprise that we make it onto a super. So we still are appreciative of it, but not necessarily over, over exaggerated, I guess. And Kelly, it looks like you really turned the corner this weekend. What do you think has been the key to your offensive um, success this weekend? Um, honestly, a lot of it is just with my timing and rhythm. So I think just going in there with that confidence that no matter what I've done all season, it's postseason time. So I might as well go out there, try something new, you know, try to just find ways on base. And I think that helped me out this weekend. The explosions came later in all three games this week. This weekend, is that something that kind of reminds you that patience is needs to stay there? That it's going to come. That you guys have this lineup. Um, I think it's really important to trust every batter in our lineup, and we don't like to focus on the outcome. So a lot, I feel like in early in a lot of the games, we were putting good cuts on the ball. They just weren't finding the holes. So that didn't make us nervous because we can't control that. We were hitting it right to someone. We trusted that the ball is going to do what the ball is going to do, and that if we just keep the same process, keep trusting each other, and stick to the game plan, that hopefully things will go our way. That's what's kind of that, you know, that the old cliche of sometimes a late loss is good for teams, whether they're entering a tournament or whatever it may be. Is there anything that good that could have come from what happened in the Big Ten or anything like that? In hindsight, man? Well, I'm a coach, and uh, I'm sure my players would agree. We, we don't want to ever lose, ever. You know, but when you do lose, you just have to you have to evaluate what do we need to get better. And as good as we are, we're only playing good teams now. We're only playing good teams. That's the only teams that are left. And our kids need to understand that. I think you put it best that we don't know when the runs are going to come, and the games may be tight. But we just have to keep playing softball and play good softball and until we can get it going. And our pitcher has to stay tough on the mound and, because the pitcher is the one who gives us a chance to win. And she has to trust that her offense will, you know, get it done. And uh, regardless, uh, I think that we didn't play well in that particular game. And, uh, if you don't play well at this level against the teams you're playing, you, you're going to have, um, you're not going to get what you want. Any kind of takeaway from these three games that you would have addressed the most in, in the week to come? Well, the biggest takeaway is that we're still playing, and that's all we want. We just want to play and stay together as long as we can, and we'll go from there. And by Tuesday, we'll get back to business, but I want them to just relish the moment. I think it's a big achievement.